I'll put it in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property? Can you sleep at night with what this company is doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, Dream. Thanks for explaining how I ended up down here. And thanks for saving me, whoever you are. That is surprisingly not terrible. to see a repeat customer. How can I help you today? How can I be of assistance? Aha! That confirms it. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. He had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes. I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. But perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. I was JK. That was a test. You passed. So if you are not an ominent agent, why would they be shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. Aphid on the move.
Ladybird. rolling through. Raw science storage of this magnitude is tricky. It's imperative to keep it cool and out of the sun. Luckily, this crawl space is the perfect environment for both. Once the lab is complete, I can begin my trials of direct science infusion. I must know whether this byproduct particle originates from the subject or the process, as I originally assumed. The only way to know for sure is to infuse myself with, um, variable doses. Dangerous? Quite. But it must be done, or I am doomed. If I can replenish these rogue particles in my body, perhaps I can finally reverse this raisinification.
Eureka! I've always wanted to say that. Termites, agents of nature, accelerating the cycle of rot and decay. And annual sales to the pest control industry. Taking a look at a new one found. Check 
out that bead. See what we can find. Keep the new one. The Black Widow descends.
sputterling here. I shall name it... Doug Jr. safe than sorry. See what we can find. Roly poly rolling through. Great, another science lab. Defeat. Failure. Countless infusions. Countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. And the true origin of raw science? Ooh, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think I have much longer. It is hard to think straight. I am so tired. 
I have only one option that remains. One last toss of the proverbial dice. Commence Project Mant. I think insects are supposed to sound like that. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunks, uh, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. Wrong. <laughs> 
science. Nothing like a little science, as I always say.
But you and your eminent paymasters will never get their hands on the embiggening cocktail. I'll take that secret to my grave. To my grave! The watched becomes the watcher. How does it feel? Knowing that you have followed my path right to me, right where I want you. Though you are a bit small for an agent of Arminent. But who knows what lengths Director Schmechter would take to get what? No, no, no! How could this Where is the override? Well, here I am! Wendell Tully in all his glory! Sure, not who I expected. My apologies for <clears throat> all of that. I thought you were agents of... Ominent. Uh, come for me at last. How should I know what guise Schmechter's agents would come shrouded in? The subterfuges of your ilk know no limits. Still, you do seem a bit young to be in the employ of Ominent. Oh, what have I done? Schmechter, of course. It's always Schmechter. Always has been. Alas, I still bear much responsibility for my creation and the pain it has wrought. To think that you have been caught up in all of this. Your children, not much older than my Sarah or Thor. Oh, what has become of me? Threatening death to children. But, but also, what are you doing here? Well, that's fair. I have no doubt terrible things have brought you here. Terrible things that are undoubtedly my fault. I never meant to hurt anyone. I don't deserve it, but I hope one day you can forgive me. Speaking of forgiveness, please excuse my shriveled appearance. This blasted reasoning has taken its toll on my body. 
My support part is the only thing keeping me from drying out completely. As you can see, my body has withered away. I created the Mant to be used as a temporary body so that I could continue my work. But I never imagined the insect's instincts would remain, let alone gain sentience. <laughs> I lost control almost immediately. As always, my greatest successes are followed by the greatest failures. Wendell Tully, husband, father, scientist. He succeeded only in the end. Like the grape set out in the sun, the body shrivels, withers, desiccates, becoming a husk of what was once a living being. In essence, what you see here before you, in all its unholy glory, the withered man. Well, if you will allow me to check your scabby. You've been in the yard for over a month. I'm sure the signs of raisining would be apparent by now. Nothing in my research has shown that there is any immunity to it. And yet here you are. Perhaps it is that your youthful bodies are more resistant than others. Likely, this is why Ominent was experimenting on children to begin with. Which means... Did Schmechter find a cure? <laughs> no, that would be beyond anyone's ability, I think. Damn! As much as I loathe the man, I must admit that Schmechter is brilliant in his own way though his methods can be quite distasteful. We cannot rule out the possibility that he has done it. Could that mean there is hope for me? When the raisining became too much, I realized I had to find a cure before it was too late. I hid here away from the eyes. So many prying eyes. Ominent has always wanted to steal my work. They would never admit its worth and greatness, and yet they would always take it. Especially Schmechter. I have made many mistakes in my life. Countless, really. But one that I will never make again is to allow my discoveries to fall into the hands of that corporation. If I must die for it, so be it. My greatest regret. If only there was something I could do to reverse time. Some sort of time machine. The science seems quite clear it would be impossible. And yet I never thought that covalent spacing reduction could be a reality either. <laughs> Oh, if, if, if the law science could be applied in the way of the time truck, no, no, that the, the time space continue. Oh, if, if, if one found oh, oh. But I digress. You see, even if I went home now, my family wouldn't recognize me. Trudy would not see the man she buried. My children would be repulsed by the bag of skin that speaks with the voice of their father. Home. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, your parents must be worried. So very worried. The process is not difficult. You will simply need to brew an embiggening cocktail at the Javamatic machine. Ah, oh, you are wise. You are wise. Wise beyond your years. Yes, indeed. There is a secret ingredient. The embiggening process is extremely taxing on living subjects. You'll need enough nutrients and proteins to survive the expansion to your original size. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of overexpansion.
chin. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to overexpansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. To counter this, sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Grilled science. No, no, no. Not raw science. Grilled science. Grilled science! Raw science represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by Burgle's spatula, and emerges as something greater, plump and juicy. Grilled science! It reminds me of the barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy. Sarah. Thor. The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. is surprisingly not terrible. Are you ready to go? We'll need some grilled science. Good, good. Then we have everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There, we can blend the embiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close.
Let's see what we can find. 